The Ryder Cup at Le Golf National in Paris is literally just around the corner and the captains are due to make the picks in the coming days. But who do you pick? In this video I'm going to talk you through the players that have made it so far, the players that haven't made it and the players who the captains should be picking or shouldn't be picking and also I want to hear your choices. Let's do it. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. I've got loads of awesome golf related content coming for you in the not too distant future. If you like course vlogs, if you like club reviews, if you like club tech comparisons, if you like completely and utterly free golf tips to help you with your golf game, make sure you consider smashing that subscribe button. As always, I want you guys to be a part of my videos and I want you to comment below. In this video, I want you to comment who is going to win the Ryder Cup and who would your four picks be for both teams. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so first of all, what about the players that we know have already qualified? Let's go European team first. First name on the team sheet, we have the Open champion Francesco Molinari. Second on the list, we have Olympic gold medalist and past US Open champ Justin Rose. Next up, we have the two-time Alfred Dunhill Lynx champion Tyrrell Hatton, followed by Race to Dubai winner Tommy Fleetwood, Big John Rahm, Rory McIlroy, Alex Noren, and the latest player we found out has qualified, Thunderbear Fjordborg Olesen, if I've pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I haven't. So who are your picks going to be for the European team, guys? There's so many great names out there. Garcia, Rafa Correa-Breo, Matt Wallace, Matt Fitzpatrick, Henrik Stenson hasn't qualified on merit, Danny Willett, Eddie Pepperall, Russell Knox, even the postman, Ian Poulter, hasn't qualified. Now, I do think this leaves Thomas Bjorn with a pretty nice problem to have, realistically. Because I've just reeled off a dozen names there and if any of those made the team, you wouldn't bat an eyelid and you'd be quite happy with the team that they're taking to Paris. Now for me, the four players that I would take, and let's see if this matches the four players that you would take as I asked you to comment right at the start of the video. I would personally be taking Henrik Stenson. He's a proven winner, he's done it in Ryder Cups before, he's experienced and I can imagine in the team room, not only the experience will help but also the banter that goes with the big Swede. My second pick will be Matthew Fitzpatrick. Matt also knows how to win, he played in the Ryder Cup last year, unfortunately didn't do too well, but for me Matt's going to be a feature in loads of Ryder Cups to come, so you might as well put him in there on this one, get some more experience. The guy also knows how to play, right? And get some young blood in there. Now the captain has to pick four players, and I think personally he has to go with experience, and he also has to go with a little bit of new blood and try and mix it in there. So my third pick, if I was Thomas Bjorn, once again I'm not Thomas Bjorn, would be the postman, Ian Poulter. Ian Poulter is going to be a Ryder Cup captain at some point in his career. This guy lives and breathes for the Ryder Cup. You need to get him in there, you need to get him playing. He will boost the team, he'll boost the entire morale. If it wasn't for Ian Poulter, the miracle at Medina would not have happened. He kick-started that, he got the ball rolling, and that is how the miracle at Medina started. So why would you not have a guy in there like that? That leaves me one more pick. Who's it going to be? Now this may be a surprise to some of you, and some of my American viewers may not know who I'm talking about. My fourth pick would be Matt Wallace. Matt won again at the weekend, it's his third win this year, I think it's his fourth win overall. He's not quite a household name yet on the European tour or on the American tour. Most so on the American tour, we all know who he is over here. But this guy can play, this guy knows how to win, he's not scared, he's never backed down from a challenge. And I think if you don't pick a guy who's won three times in a season, what is worthy of a pick? They're my European picks. Let's look at the USA team. Okay, so if you thought that European team was strong, wait till you get a load of this American team. Just to let you know before we start, guys, currently there is one player in the USA Ryder Cup team without a major. One. And that guy's Ricky Fowler. He can play, can't he? So we already know eight players that are in the USA Ryder Cup team. Let's go through them quickly. Now these guys are just pretty much all household names. We have Brooks Kapka, three-time major winner. Dustin Johnson, Justin Thomas. This year's Masters winner, Patrick Reed. Bubba Watson, Ricky Fowler, Jordan Spieth. 
and even Webb Simpson's made the team. Now there must be some banter flowing around in the team room with Ricky Fowler being the only guy without a major in there. I can imagine that the jokes are flying around the room and I imagine Ricky will probably be taking it pretty well. If you look on his social media, they look to all have a fantastic time. And for me, that's why the USA team are a bit of a danger this year. Just like last time we had the Ryder Cup, the American team ethic was absolutely outstanding, more so than any other year. The Ryder Cup is a completely different format to a normal golf tournament. You have to be a team, you have to be together, you have to have laughs, and you have to also be able to be serious with each other in times of need. But enough about that. Let's talk about the four picks that Jim Furyk should be thinking about. Again, guys, comment below. Who would your four picks be for the USA team? Here are some of the guys in contention. Bryson DeChambeau, Brent Snedeker, Tony Finau, Matt Kuchar, Jimmy Walker. Zach Johnson hasn't made the team. That guy in match play is dangerous. And there's also the small matter of Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson to throw in there as well. So my four picks, if I was Jim Furyk, which again, I'm not Jim Furyk, for me, the first guy on the list has to be Bryson DeChambeau. The guy's on form, the guy's winning, he's full of confidence. Unlike the middle of the season where he had that mini breakdown, he seems to be a lot happier with his golf game now, and the guy is on fire. Second pick has to be Tony Finau. This guy's huge, he bombs it. Again, in match play, remember this is a match play event, the guy has to be dangerous. He's had an awesome season, even after that awful injury at the Masters Par 3 tournament. Did you see that? It was awful. The guy still played, made the cut, and I believe he's had great finishes in all four majors this year, so the guy knows how to compete under pressure. Now my final two picks for the American team, I'm going to kind of throw in there as one. I think we both know who they're going to be. These guys are having a friendly match on Thanksgiving in Las Vegas for a staggering amount of money. Drum roll please. I'm not even going to do it, we all know, Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. Since Tiger's come back this time from his injury, he's started to play a lot better, he's been in contention in majors, that guy knows how to win, he will be a future Ryder Cup captain no doubt, he's already a vice captain this year so that'll be interesting to see if he does get picked, if he sticks with that or if he just decides to play and as for Big Phil, how can you leave Big Phil out? I'm not going to stand here and tell you how good Phil Mickelson is because we all know. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that brief video on the Ryder Cup, the players in there already, the possible picks and who I would be picking. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, put the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content, and I'll see you soon.